What you are looking at right now is one of the most modern looking airsoft guns to hit the market. I'm sure there are a lot of oohs and ahs out there, especially coming from airsoftology Jonathan Higgs, more on that later, but there could quite possibly be equal amounts of ugh and whatever uncertainty sounds like. It's so modern, in fact, that it's rather odd looking. Like when the Steyr Org was first released, and much like the AUG, it's a bullpup. It's streamlined, basically a chiseled out rectangle. It was made by Lelax, a Japanese company, which explains a fair bit. Something that looks like this has to be incredibly practical, but it's quite the opposite. The mag release isn't even ambidextrous. It's this button right here, right above the magazine. Speaking of which, it is a mock magazine that serves no purpose but to look the part, much like a porn star's boob job. This one is rather loose and floppy. And like a poorly done boob job, from up close, it looks fake. Fortunately enough, this version comes with a Tokyo Marui 68 round mid cap magazine, so if you decided to use it in game, you can. Unfortunately, there is more bad news. The scope doesn't even work. It's this overprotective cover covering a plastic tube with plastic bits on the end. There's no red dot, no magnification. It's stupid. The scope is stupid. And there is this lever found on the left side which looks like it's meant to do something. You catch my drift. The fire selector is not the most annoying thing in the world. It is the breech. This gun's not very lefty friendly. Having it all the way forward means that it's in safe, one slot back, semi, two slots back, full auto. It may be rather difficult to adjust with precision if you're moving around a lot or under a lot of pressure. Now, all these problems would usually frustrate me. A lot. It's so impractical and it looks like a cartoony block of cheese. But it doesn't frustrate me. Why? Are you a hardcore Ghost in the Shell fan? Do you wish you could be Major Kusanagi Motoko? Well, this isn't very difficult to achieve if you're a cosplayer, but even if you do live and breathe Kusanagi Motoko, you will always feel like you're missing something, and what you're missing is this. This is the Leilax Schrodinger AEG, the very replica you've seen in Ghost in the Shell Arise. Ah, that explains so much and is the reason why I mentioned Jonathan Higgs earlier. He loves Ghost in the Shell and he would be all over this if he were here. Now you could fully immerse yourself in the movie with this life-size replica. Leilax make quality upgrades, so you can expect this to be pristine. It looks exactly like it does in the anime. The scope, the grip, all of it, the works. It is rather light, but rigid as the majority of it is made out of aluminium, whilst everything else, such as the grip, the foregrip, and all the fiddly bits are made out of polymer. If you remove these six screws on the scope, you can completely remove the scope and replace it with a top rail for other additional sights that actually work. Also, removing this screw here will allow you to push a pin out, revealing the storage space for a battery. We would suggest using a 7.4 LiPo battery as this Schrodinger runs on a Tokyo Marui MP7 AEG gearbox. Also, to find the hop-up, remove these six screws on the back panel, completely removing the panel itself, and the hop-up can be found in there. Now that we have established that this was designed by a Japanese manufacturer, it clocks in as low as you expect it to. For the chrono test, we're using 0.2 gram 6mm BBs. For the accuracy test, we are 20 meters away using 0.25 gram BBs instead. It isn't very accurate as the grouping is around 6 inches in diameter. The Schrodinger AG does have a MOSFET inside, so every time you pull the trigger, the gears sound like they're going through one full round, making sure that every shot is very consistent. And it does sound like there is a reset there as well. So you could quite possibly short stroke it. It doesn't sound amazing in full auto though. But it's got a pretty decent rate of fire. A lot of you would argue that the Leilax Schrodinger AEG does not have a place in this world. And you're probably right because it belongs in the world of Ghost in the Shell. 
If I were to get something modern looking, I'd probably get the Scorpion Evo. But if I wanted something even more simple to that, I'd get the RWA KG9. So this is for hardcore collectors that would most likely hang it on their wall, or maybe not even take it outside of their boxes. This is probably Leilax's reasoning for not having a functional scope or magazine. They knew that people were going to hang it on the wall. But what would you guys do if you owned one? Would you hang it on a wall or would you take it to a game? Let me know in the comment section below. See you guys on the next episode of Red Wolf TV. Porn Stash, out.